In this video, we are going to see how to create a spreadsheet row in Microsoft Excel from a webhook. So every time you receive a webhook response, this webhook is used to make two different applications communicate with each other. So here, how can you integrate two different applications using Paply webhook? This is what I'm going to show in this particular video. So every time a webhook response is received, then how can a row be automatically added in your Microsoft Excel. So this is done through Pabli Connect software. Here your trigger application would be webhook by Pabli and your action application would be Microsoft Excel. Now how can you do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user here. And here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. As we do that, we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And another dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now, what is my objective here? That every time through any application where I'm using a webhook URL, so I can receive the response and the same response can be added to my Microsoft Excel sheet as a new row. So I can have this response from any application using the webhook URL. So now I'm going to click on create. So as I do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. Now, as per this integration, my trigger application will be webhook by Pabli. So what are these webhooks basically? So webhook is an HTTP based callback function that allows two applications programming interfaces to have a communication between them. So webhooks are used by a wide variety of web applications to receive small amounts of data from other applications. And it can also be used to trigger automation workflows. So like what we are doing here. So now here it is saying that copy the webhook URL and add it under the webhook section of the application you are willing to integrate with. Once you are done with adding the webhook URL, do a test submission so that the data can be like the record can be captured here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Now, let's say that I want to receive form submission response through any form builder application here. I'm taking the example of jot form. So this is my jot form account. And here I want to work on this particular form, which is new position. So here you can see this is a form. And I've got the following fields, first name, last name, email address, gender, and phone number. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings. Here on the left hand side, you can see integrations. Let's click on this. And here I'm going to search for webhooks. Let's click on this, delete this. And I'm going to paste this webhook URL that we have just received here. And now let's click on complete integration. So here we can see that the integration is ready. Let's click on finish. Now I'm going to go to preview form. Why? Because it is asking me to do a test submission. So let's say the first name here is test. Then the last name is one, two, three. Then we have the email address, which is test one, two, three at pablitudes.com. Then we have the gender, which is female. And then we have the phone number. So let's say the phone number. First of all, the country code is plus nine one. Then the phone number here is okay. So once we have filled this in, I'm going to click on submit form and here our form has been submitted. Going back to public connect, let's see if we have received the API response and here that is. What is the form title? This is new position. Then again, the username is ashi 2 as I take you down. So this is the first name, last name, email address, gender, phone number, area code, then the complete phone number. We have received this entire information, right? Here we have used the webhook by Pabli URL and this is how Pabli Connect is now connected with Jot Form. Now I want this information to be added as a new row in my Excel sheet. So here my action application would be Excel, Microsoft Excel. And the action event here would be 
to add row to worksheet let's click on connect so here again public connect is asking to connect itself with microsoft excel account i'm going to click on add new connection connect with microsoft excel and let's click on yes basically it is asking for access and we have provided the same and here you can see that the authorization has been successful so once this is done now here we have to fill in this information the workbook worksheet and then we have the first name last name mobile number email address gender so how do i do that first of all i already have created a workbook the name is client details and i have got the following fields here so the same thing has been taken by the system already and since there was only one sheet so it has been taken suppose you wanted to add you could have just gone to the drop down and you could see all the sheets that are created in your workspace now the first name how am i supposed to map this as i click on this it is showing me the previous step let's click on this and this here is the first name this process with which i have added the information is known as mapping mapping means that i already have this information in the previous step and i'm just going to retrieve it here and this is important so that the new data can be taken into consideration if i had written this manually then even when my workflow was running for the nth time it would have taken the manual written data that's it that is why mapping is important now let's go and map the last name we are going to repeat the process here it is then we have the mobile number so here we have the mobile number and we are going to also add the country code so this here is the country code okay next we have the email address so here we have the email address and finally the gender so here is the gender. Let's click on save and send test request. And here we have received the API response. According to which now a row must be created in our Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to refresh this. And here you can see that yes, we have received this. Now I'm going to just quickly change the format here. Okay, so the number format. So let's go to number. And uh, I don't want the decimal, so I'm just going to click OK. OK, so here we have the mobile number, email address, gender. This basically means that our integration is a complete success. So now I'm going to go to Jot form once again. And let's say that I fill up another form. We are checking this in real time. So let's say that the first name is demo, last name is user, email address is demo user at publitudes.com, and the gender is male here we have the area code which is plus nine one and then we have the phone number which is this now i'm going to click on submit form so the form has been submitted taking you back to excel i'm going to quickly refresh this page and here you can see that yes we have received the response this is the first name last name mobile number email address and gender this basically means that our integration process is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to pabli connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application was webhook by pabli then again the action application was microsoft excel where the event was to add row to worksheet so just through this webhook, you can actually integrate Pabli Connect with any other application. The setup can be done and then you can further integrate it with different applications. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any other specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.